Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise God. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. First, I just want to give greetings to Minister Rose, uh, Pastor Diedrich in his absence. Praise God. Um, greetings to every minister, every saint in this hour. Uh, greetings to my husband. Praise God. And to everyone watching on Zoom, God bless you. Praise God. Um, extending greetings on the behalf of my pastors, Pastor Leash and Lady Leash, all the way from Prayer of Faith International Temple Apostolic. God bless you, everyone. Praise God. Um, before we go into the scripture reading for today, I just want us to just continue in the momentum of just worship. Praise God. So wherever you are, let's just go ahead before we get into the, the word for today. Let's just go ahead and exalt the king this morning. Hallelujah. Jesus, we are giving God glory that we are here on this morning. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Jesus, we are magnifying his name. Hallelujah, Jesus, hallelujah. He is the King of kings and the Lord of lords. Uh, there is nobody like this King, hallelujah. Praise God, it is the second Sunday until the ending of this year. Praise God, and so if you are here on this morning, it means that God has kept you, hallelujah, Jesus. It means that he has kept you under the shadow of his wings. Praise God, all the things that we have missed, praise God, all the secret attacks God has kept you praise the Lord hallelujah and so if you believe hallelujah that the Lord has been keeping you I want you to stand on your feet if you can and give God a shout of praise hallelujah Jesus hallelujah Jesus hallelujah Jesus hallelujah you are worthy God you are worthy hallelujah Jesus Marco Shataya Hallelujah, Jesus, you are a good God. Hallelujah, Jesus, he is the King of kings and the Lord of lords. Hallelujah, he is the I am that I am. He is the lion of the tribe of Judah. He is the conquering lion. Hallelujah, Jesus, I don't know of any other God but the God that we serve. He is the one true living God. Hallelujah, Jesus, his name is Jesus. Hallelujah, his name is Emmanuel. Hallelujah, Jesus. And we just worship him. My God, we worship him. Hallelujah. We worship him. Hallelujah, Jesus. We worship him. My God, we worship him this hour. Hallelujah. 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 Hallelujah, Jesus. Hallelujah. We worship you, Father. We worship you, Jesus. My God, we worship you this hour. Glory be to God. We worship him. My God, we worship him. Hallelujah, Jesus. Hallelujah. Praise God. Praise God. It's always an honor and a privilege to be. Praise God. You may be seated. Sorry. Praise God. It's always an honor and a privilege to be in the house of the Lord. I believe that many of us can testify of the past two years. And so the mere fact that we have made it towards the ending of another year is nothing but God. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. And so I'm just giving God thanks that I am here on today. It's actually the first time I've ministered at another congregation since lockdown. And so I'm just thankful to God for keeping me. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Um, this past Wednesday, I just had my 26th birthday. And so um, during that time, Praise God. During that time, I was just reminiscing on all that God has done for me and how he has kept me and how that I am here on today. And it was only 10 years ago that myself, I actually uh, was an atheist. I did not believe in the existence that this concept of a God could even exist. Praise the Lord. But at the age of 16, um, just to summarize, I found myself it, um, di dying. Praise God. I became very ill. And for the first time in my life, in my bed, I cried out to God. And I didn't pray. I didn't um, 
I, I didn't give this elaborate prayer that sometimes we hear in church. All I did was I spoke to God how you would speak to a friend. And I said, God, if you are the God that you say that you are, then I need you to save me. And if you save me, I will give my life to you. Praise God. And within within that, that following week, um, the day after that I said that to God, I ended up in the hospital. I was admitted. Doctors couldn't figure out what was wrong, but I was having this pain in my body. And when I was in the hospital, um, there was a cleaning person now who was there, and she was an apostolic Christian. And every day that I was in the hospital, she prayed for me. And I was released on that Saturday. And on that Sunday, she invited me and my family to church. And I remember the warfare that I was going through. It was like a resistance to stop me from going into the house. And I remember um, halfway during service, I ended up walking out and going to the car. And I was there trying to hide. And I believe it was like about maybe 15 minutes. She came looking for me. And she asked me, well, what's wrong? And I told her I was feeling unwell. So you know what she did? She grabbed me by my neck and she dragged me out the car and dragged me into the church. And straight at that time, they were doing the altar call and she took me straight to that altar. And that very same day, I was baptized in the name of Jesus. And I believe it was, I believe it was around a month and a half, two months after that I was filled with the Holy Ghost. So I give God thanks for life and I thank God praise God. And I always share that before I go forth to minister, because that in itself is a testimony that God is able. It doesn't matter uh, if you don't believe in him, doesn't matter how far you've, you've gone from him. All God is looking for is just a chance, just a chance. That's all he needs is just a chance. Praise God. And so I give God thanks. And we're just going to go forth into the scripture reading for this morning. And I have two scriptures here. Um, the first one will be taken from the book of Numbers, chapter 20, verse 6 through 13. Praise God. That is the book of Numbers, chapter 20, from verses 6 through 13. Praise God. And if um, it's customary to stand or if you're able to stand, you can stand at the reading of God's word. Praise the Lord. And I'll just go forth and read it in your hearing. Praise God. And reads thus, And Moses and Aaron went from the presence of the assembly unto the door of the tabernacle of the congregation. And they fell upon their faces, and the glory of the Lord appeared unto them. And the Lord spake unto Moses, saying, Take the rod, and gather thou the assembly together, thou and Aaron thy brother, and speak ye unto the rock before their eyes. And it shall give forth his water, and thou shalt bring forth to them water out of the rock, so that, so that thou shalt give the congregation and their beasts drink. And Moses took the rod from before the Lord, and he commanded him. And Moses and Aaron gathered the congregation together before the rock, and he said unto them, Hear now, ye rebels, must we fetch you water out of this rock? And Moses lifted up his hand with his rod and smote the rock twice. And the water came out abundantly and the congregation drank and their beasts also. And the Lord spake unto Moses and Aaron, because ye believe me not to sanctify me in the eyes of the children of Israel. Therefore, ye shall not bring this congregation into the land which I have given them. This is the water of Meribah because the children of Israel strove with the Lord and he was sanctified in them. Praise God. The second scripture is going to be Deuteronomy 32 verses 51 and 52. Praise God. That's Deuteronomy chapter 32 verses 51 and 52. And it reads thus, because ye trespassed against me, among the children of Israel at the waters of Meribah Kadesh in the wilderness of Zin, because ye sanctify me not in the midst of the children of Israel, yet thou shalt see in the land before thee. 
Yet thou shalt see the land before thee, but thou shalt not go thither unto the land which I give the children of Israel. Praise God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, Jesus. Father, I honor you on this morning. Hallelujah, Jesus. I magnify your name. I glorify your name, Jesus. Uh, Father God, you are the King of kings and the Lord of lords. Mighty God, there is none who is like you, Father God. And on this morning, Lord Jesus, I honor you, Lord, Lord God. Hallelujah. Father, as I come before your people on this hour, Almighty God, you know everything concerning me, Lord Jesus. And Father, Father, if there is anything that I have done, God, in this week, Lord God, I repent this hour, Father, in the name of Jesus, Lord, empty me out of everything within me, God, and I, you, I give you, God, full permission, Lord Jesus, this hour to use me, Father God, as you desire for me to be used, Lord God. I pray, Father God, for this region, this atmosphere, even now. I pray, Father God, that your Holy Spirit, Marco Shata, oh, God. I pray, Father God, for your Holy Spirit, God, to take charge, uh, God, to move upon the four corners of this house, mighty God. Uh, Father God, I come against every secret agent, mighty God, of the camps and the camps of the enemy, Father. I pray, mighty God, that you, Lord God, will keep us under your tabernacle, keep us under the shadow of your wings this morning. And so, Father God, this morning, we come against every modern spirit, God. We come against, Father God. God, every witch and warlock, Maku Shata, E Katama, Ku Shataya, in the name of Jesus, mighty God, this house is yours, mighty God, and we will worship you, Father, in spirit and in truth, Lord God. So, Father, take full control in the name of Jesus. Father, have your way on today, Lord God. Have your way, Lord Jesus. And Father, we honor you on, to, on today, God. I honor you in the name of Jesus. Father, I bless you this hour. Hallelujah, Jesus. You may all be seated. Praise God. Praise God. When we look at Moses, we know that he was a man that God had um, orchestrated for him to lead the children of Israel onto what was called this promised land. In the book of Numbers, it tells us what happened to the Israelites during the 40 years that they spent wandering in the desert. Uh, God proved time after time that he was the one true living God, and he did this by performing miracles before their very eyes. He uh, allowed it to rain manna and quail from the earth. He um, also gave them water to drink. And so he did all of these things in front of their eyes, but there was still a murmuring that was in the land. Praise God. No matter how many times the Lord performed these miracles before their eyes, there was still a doubt in their heart. You see, the problem with the children of Israel was that they would declare with their mouth that Jehovah was was the one true living God, but they were unwilling to tear down the high places. Uh, God, the, the high places being their doubts and their worshiping of false idols. Um, in the book of Isaiah 29, verse 13, it tells us that these people come near to me with their mouth and they honor me with their lips, but their hearts are far from me. Praise God. God being the omniscient God that he is, there is nothing that is done in secret that God cannot see. It doesn't matter. Um, it doesn't happen to just those in the world, but also happens in the body of Christ. Praise God. They are the ones who stand in the altar on a Sunday, but after service, they go home to their own altar. Praise the Lord. It is the ones who sing and shout and declare the works of the Lord, but they lack the, the faith, the size of a mustard seed. Praise God. You see everything in the Bible. It doesn't just speak of things in times past, but it tells tells us of what's going on in today's world. And if you ask me, it's a scary thing when we as Holy Ghost believers have trouble discerning the person who's sitting right beside us. Praise God. Um, uh, not everyone, the Bible says that not everyone who says, Lord, Lord, will enter into the kingdom of heaven. So us as saints, we have to be careful of who we give our attention to. Praise God. Do you know how, do you know that many of these so-called uh, televangelists and, and, and 
television prophets and everything? Do you know that they are just witches and warlocks in disguise? Do you know that they are not even true Christians? Praise God. It's just a show. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Everything that God does, the devil mimics. So it tells me because the devil mimics everything that God does, it tells me that people, that witches and warlocks are able to preach, teach, and speak in tongues. Praise God and put on a show. Praise the Lord. And um, it, when I was thinking of that a few years back, it came to my remembrance. I had attended this conference and there's this woman um, during the altar call. She, this demon that was inside of her began to manifest. And I remember I went over to her and I started laying hands on her and I was praying and I was I was praying I began to speak in tongues and a demon that was inside of her began to mimic the tongues back at me praise God so that just shows me that even no it doesn't matter what that that the enemy will always try to mimic everything that God does so we have to be vigilant as believers of what we give our attention to praise God praise God the high places that the children of Israel would not tear down caused them to get into serious judgment. As followers of the Lord, we are not just representing ourselves, but we are representation of who Christ is. Praise praise the Lord. And it's imperative that we are always walking according to God's word. It's one thing to walk into church on a Sunday, but how are you living your life throughout the week? How are you um, treating the, pers the person in your home on a Monday? How are you talking to your coworker on a Tuesday? Um, what are you thinking about your, your, um, your church brother and sister on a Wednesday? How are you living throughout the remainder of the week? Praise God. Um, when we look into to the exodus, we realized that Moses had such a crucial responsibility as a leader. And even though Moses conversed with the Lord in such a, un a unique manner, even himself had his own doubts, praise God, because Moses doubted the Lord when God told him to speak to the rock, it caused him from entering into the promised land. You see, God told Moses to speak to the rock. And when he speaks to the rock, the water will flow out but instead Moses had his own doubts and he used his staff and struck the rock instead so he went out of order and he didn't do that which God commanded and it caused him to go into serious judgment praise the Lord praise the Lord but I've learned in this uh, scenario, just by reading the story, I've learned that it doesn't matter what position that you are in, God still judges the same. Praise God, a homosexual is going to stand before the Lord the same way that a gospel is going to stand, and a gospel is going to stand the same way that a minister or a preacher is going to stand. Praise the Lord. Each and every one of us one day will have to go before the Lord in, in judgment and give an account of what we've done praise the Lord and the enemy he is so cunning because he can easily rob you of your blessing he can easily rob you and hinder you from being in that position of walking in the Lord and trick you out of that very blessing praise the Lord and we see that uh, what occurred with Moses God was merciful and allowed him to see the land but he was not allowed to enter in praise God the things of this world may seem appealing at times but trust me it's not worth going to hell for praise the lord praise the lord praise the lord if there's anything that anybody knows about me i always say time after time that god is not a fool praise the lord you may uh you may fool man you may fool your pastor you may fool the ministers uh you may even be able to fool your friend but you can't fool god and so if there's something going on in secret something going on behind closed doors god is fully aware of everything that is being done praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. And you see, God was merciful and he allowed Moses to see the land. But again, he was not able to walk into it. Praise God. And this morning, I want to remind somebody that what you do on earth determines whether you'll cross over. Praise the Lord. I'm going to say that again. Um, what you do on this earth determines if you'll be able to 
cross over. Praise the Lord. God is not concerned about your shout of praise. He's not concerned about your good works. But what he is concerned about is what's on the inside. He's concerned about the heart. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. And if you're wondering what my topic for this morning, it's not everyone will enter into the promised land. Praise God. It may seem a bit harsh, but it's the truth. Not it's the truth. Not everyone mm. is going to make it. Praise the Lord. And we have to make sure that we are in right standing with God to make sure that one day we'll be able to stand before the presence of the Lord and enter into right. his kingdom. Praise God. Praise God. I want to remind somebody this morning that the coming of the Lord is near. I know we've been hearing that for years now, amen, even amen. Uh, from generations before that God is coming soon. Jesus is coming soon. But saints of God, the things that are going around in this world today is the same sight that Jesus is closer. Jesus is nearer than what we think. Praise God. Praise God. Amen. I know that we are in the season where we recognize his birth. But it's also important to recognize the reason as to why he came. In John 10, 10, it tells us the thief does not come except to steal and to kill and to destroy. And I am come that they might have life and that they have, might have it more abundantly. Praise God. Saints of God, the things that are going on in this world is just reminding us, telling us that the coming that his coming is nearer nearer than what we think. Yeah. Praise God. It was just um, a week ago that I heard on the news that a line of tornadoes hit the United States. I'm not sure if yeah. anybody else heard that yeah. on the news. Yeah. But over 30 tornadoes hit six states in one night. Praise God. That has never happened before. Yeah. Praise the Lord. And just a few days after that, there was also reports that there was tornado, more tornadoes and crazy winds. I called my mother the other day and she was telling me that it was windy where we are at. And I saw video video footage of people posting videos of these strong gusts of wind and there's different changes going on in the climate. And the, ch the reason why these changes are going on is because God is using the physical elements to warn us yeah. that he's coming. Praise yeah. the Lord. You think a pandemic was the only thing more coming, praise the Lord. Right. Ah, if you are in the Holy Ghost, praise God, you will know that something else is coming and right, something right. else is closer. My, my God, closer than what we think. And so it's essential, it's imperative that we mm. are ready. Praise God. It's important that our hearts are in the right place at all times because the next minute is never promised. The next right. second is never promised. Praise Amen. God. It's so Why is it such a 
Right. Struggle. Praise God. Right. Praise the Lord. Uh -huh. Praise the Lord. Speak. My God, Hallelujah. my God. Hallelujah. Praise God. We are eager to enter into the gates of heaven. Yet we can't praise God. Like I said, we can't um, say hello. We have struggles saying hello to Amen. the person sitting beside us. Sometimes we, we even want to have a title in the church, yet we fail mm. to realize the cost of the anointing. Right. Praise God. It's right. not easy. Praise the Lord, praise the Lord. Praise, praise the 
Amen. Church is not a theater. Right. God is not looking for a show. Amen. But he's looking at the heart of man. Are we going to be like the children of Israel who are stuck in their Egyptian mindset? Mm. Uh, they're mm. not fully submitted. Are, are we going to fully submit ourselves to Christ? Are we going to fully submit ourselves to Christ? Praise God. The Egyptian mindset, it's, it's what had all those doubts, those idol worship. It's so easy mm. uh, to get distracted with the things of this world. The idols, we, we make so much idols in our mm. lives. An idol is not just a golden image, but sometimes it could be our cell phone. Sometimes it could be us listening to songs that we're not supposed to. It's something that you give your attention to, but you're not giving your attention fully onto God. And mm. so we have to uh, make sure that we're not in this Egyptian mindset like the children of Israel. Uh, the Lord was trying to pull them away from this mindset, but they kept having these doubts. They kept having this lack of faith and trust in God. So we have to make sure that we are going to fully submit ourselves onto Christ. Praise mm. God. Even if it's just one thing, that one thing can hinder you from entering into heaven. And if there's something that you have that you have done, praise God, that was not of the Lord, now is the time to repent because That's like right. I mentioned earlier, the next second is not even promised onto mm -hmm. us. I can't even say if we're going to walk out these church doors or not because right. the Lord can come at this very moment. So Amen. always make sure that we are constantly repenting before the Lord at Amen. all times. Praise the Lord. Don't just wait until a Sunday to repent before him, but make sure uh, that every chance, every moment that you can that you have to repent and speak unto him. Praise God. It can be on your way to work. It can be in the car. It can be in the bathroom. Anywhere that you are, God is. And so we have to make sure that we are always communing with God. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. And so we got to make sure that we are living right. Praise the Lord. And I am close. I'm soon to closing now. I truly believe that this upcoming year is going to be a year of restoration for God's people. Right. And we are going to see the hand of the Lord move in such a peculiar way. But only the ones whose hearts were in right with God will be able to see this move. Praise the Lord. Everything that we do day by day, God is making a record. God is recording our action. He's recording our thoughts. He's recording uh, our very movement. The right. things that we are doing, the things mm. that we are thinking about one another. God is taking a note, right. a list of all these things. Praise God. And, and God is a rewarder of them that, that seek Him. Right. That's why uh, it's important that we are making sure that we are always in right standing with God. Praise the Lord. And so I believe um, as we enter into this upcoming year to be God's will that we even enter in. Praise mm -hmm. the Lord. If we even see um, 2022, if he doesn't come before that, praise God. <laughs> it's imperative that we always make sure that we are in right standing with God. Praise the Lord. And so be careful, as I mentioned earlier, the things that you give your attention to, uh, the things, the people that may be in your circle. Uh, you have to pray about all these things and make sure that you are in, are in the right position with God. Uh, one little thing can hinder you from entering into heaven. Praise God. Right. And we don't want those little things to hinder us from entering into heaven. Heaven, praise Amen. the Lord, mm -hmm. praise the Lord. Jesus is coming soon, mm. and will you be the one who, the one who crosses over? Praise Amen. the Lord, Amen. praise Glory. God, Glory. praise God. Hallelujah. hallelujah. Will you be the one? Mm. My God, my God, hallelujah. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Jesus, hallelujah. hallelujah. Will hallelujah. we be the one? My God, my God, hallelujah. Hallelujah, Jesus. Will we be the one who crosses over? Will we be the one, hallelujah, to see the gates of heaven? Will we be the one, hallelujah, that stands before your throne? Hallelujah, Jesus. Hallelujah, 
Jesus. Hallelujah. Saints of God, uh, Jesus is sooner coming, mm. is coming nearer than right. what we think. Praise mm. God. And I say that with every part of my being, that Jesus is coming much sooner than we think. Amen. Praise the Lord. And even as we enter into this upcoming year, I want to make sure that we are in the right position, in the right place with God because uh, we never know when His coming is, but we know that it's coming. Praise the Amen. Lord. Mm -hmm. Praise the Lord. And so Jesus is coming soon. And will you be the one, praise God, who crosses over? Praise the Lord. These are my few words. Amen. Amen. Glory. Amen. Amen. Give him thanks. Give him thanks and praise that we well take. Amen. 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 Amen.